In today's video, I'm going to be showing you what the best enchants are for getting drops, gems, and coins. As you can see, I've done a load of tests, so let's jump straight into it. First, I'll show you how many gems I can get in 15 minutes with the new enchants I have found. First, I'll show you how many drops I can get in 15 minutes with the new enchants that I've discovered. And there we go, we've just completed the test. We got 54 drops, but that was solo. So now I'm going to bring all of these accounts into the top area and we're going to see how many drops I can get with those. And there we go, every single account is in the top area. Let's see how many drops we get in 15 minutes. And there we go, it's been a 15 minutes and we managed to get 41 drops, which is worse than what we got so We now have our diamonds enchants on. Let's go and see how many diamonds we can get in 15 minutes. First, we'll trade across all of our diamonds. So we start with zero. We're now on zero diamonds. Let's see how many we can get in 15 minutes. And there we go, 15 minutes done, and we managed to get 17,000 diamonds, which is just over 1,000 diamonds a minute. That's pretty decent. We now have nine other accounts in there, which makes it 10 with us. And we have zero gems, so let's go and see how many we can get in 15 minutes. And there we go, that's 15 minutes done, and we got 12,500 gems. As you can see, that's less than what we got when we were solo, so it does turn out better if you do grind solo, but that's only if you can destroy things quick enough. So let's get on with the main video of finding out what these enchants are for you guys. As you see, I have four books available. I haven't brought any of the premium enchant slots, so this method will work for free to play players as well. The first test we're going to be doing is drop test. We'll be using this setup here, a treasure hen to five book and two critical five books with a magnet free book. We'll time it 15 minutes, see how many drops we get, and then we'll switch up the books and see how many drops we get with a different book set. It is now in 15 minutes. We managed to get 25 drops. 14 were items, 3 were potions, and 8 were enchant books. We will change up our enchants that we have on. We'll change that to 2 treasure hunters, 1 criticals 5, and 1 magnet book. And we'll see how many drops we get in 15 minutes with this. And it's been another 15 minutes with our new enchants and we got 16 items five enchant books one potion and 10 items which is worse than our original thing even though we had an extra treasure hunter book so obviously you need to do enough damage to destroy stuff quickly so let's swap out some books and we'll have a look at what we get this time so this time we'll try with one treasure hunter book one criticals five book one strong pets five book and a magnet three so let's do another 15 minutes and see how many we get It's been another 15 minutes. We managed to get 23 drops, which puts that in second place behind Treasure Hunter with one book and two critical five books. So now let's try one Treasure Hunter book and two strong five books. There we go. Let's spend 15 minutes with these. And it has been another 15 minutes. You managed to get 22 drops in that time, which puts that in third place. So at the moment, one treasure hunter five book and two critical five books is the best to get drops. So now let's move on to the best books to get gems. Now we've figured out what enchant books are best for getting drops. We're now going to move on to diamonds. So as you can see, we have two criticals five books and a diamonds five book. Let's see how many diamonds we can get in 15 minutes. And it has just been 15 minutes with one diamonds five book and we managed to get 4.8k diamonds. That's not too bad considering we're not running a full team of huge pets. We currently only have one huge pet, four exclusives, what the best pet in the game and a few other rainbow pets. 
We're not running Diamonds Boost and we're not running Diamonds Flags. So let's now move on to two Diamond 5 books and one Critical 5 book and see how many we get in 15 minutes. There we go. Let's go and spend 15 minutes getting Diamonds. And after 15 minutes, we managed to get 5,000 and almost 300 diamonds, which makes it better than one diamond book. So let's try with three diamond five books and no damaging books and see what we get. We're now going to use three diamond five books with no damaging books and see how many diamonds we can get in 15 minutes. After 15 minutes, we managed to get 2,800 diamonds, which then puts that third on our list just under half of our best score. So now let's do two diamond five books and one strong pet five book. There we go. Let's do 15 minutes of this and see how many gems we get. It's now been another 15 minutes and we got 4.5k gems. This is now our third best in the list, as you can see. It is almost double what we got from just having three diamond five books. So now let's have a look at what we get for two strong pets, five books, and one diamond five book. There we go. Let's now have a go with this loadout and see how much we get. It has been another 15 minutes and we got 4,300 gems. And that is our second worst load of enchants on this list. So that's both drops and gems done. Now let's move on to coins. And here we go. These are the next enchants we're going to do. Six different loads. So let's crack on. First, we'll start with one coins five book and two critical five books. But first, as you can see on the left, we currently have 70 emerald bars. So let's go and spend all of those on the best egg. So I'll be back once we've done that. Now we've spent just over one and a half emerald bars. We can now start the coins section of this video. First, we will be using these books along with a coins five book. So two criticals and one coins five book. Let's see how many coins we can get in 15 minutes. And in 15 minutes, we've gone up to 69 emerald bars and 753 emerald coins. So we got one emerald bar from that. We got 368.5 thousand emerald coins. To be fair, that is not too bad. You'd have to AFK for about 35 hours-ish to get max coins, which is a lot. I would suggest having flags equipped coming down every five minutes and also having coin boosts on, damage boosts on, all that sort of stuff. So next, we're going to go into the next one, which is two coins five books and only one critical five book. but once again before we do that we need to go and spend a bunch of coins so i'll see you when we've done that we've now spent 40 of our platinum bars so we should be able to do the rest of our tests that we need to do we now have two coins five and one critical five book equipped now let's do our 15 minutes and see how many coins we can get And the 15 minutes is done and we managed to get one bar and 353,000 coins which puts that in second place meaning that two critical books are better than only one. Now let's try it with one coins five book and two strong five books. And after 15 minutes you can see we didn't even get one bar worth of coins so that is definitely not one of the best ways to grind. So let's try it with two coins five books and only one strong five book. That is now third place on our board with one bar and 188,000 coins. So now let's try with one coins book, one critical book, and one speed five book. We've done another 15 minutes with those current books and we managed to get one bar and 194,000 coins. So let's try out coins five, strong five, and speed five and see how many coins we get from that. And that one gave us 832,000 coins. The best for drops is one treasure hunter book and two critical books. The best for diamond is one critical book and two diamond books and the best for coins is one coins five book and two critical books thank you very much for watching the video i hope you did enjoy if you did find it useful and you did enjoy please make sure you like and subscribe it really helps and i'll see you in the next one